What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have this nice and beautiful equation that says, find the values of n that satisfies n squared minus n cubed equal to 2. First, let's move all parts of this equation to one side so that it equals 0. So I'll start with negative n cubed. When I move this to the right hand side, it becomes positive n cubed. And now, n squared, when I move this to the right hand side, it becomes minus n squared. I've already got plus 2 on the right, so plus 2. Now the left hand side now equals 0. Now we can flip this equation. That means we can write the right hand side first as n cubed minus n squared plus 2 to be equal to 0. Now our goal is to find a number n such that when you do all the maths on the left hand side make the total equal zero for this kind of problem we often try small but easy numbers like negative one one negative two or two let's try negative one that means when n is equal to negative one let's plug this on the left hand side to see if we're going to be having zero so this is n cube that's going to be negative one cube minus n squared so that will be negative one squared plus two and when we solve this negative one cube is negative one minus negative one squared is positive one so i'm going to be putting one here and then plus two when we do the math Negative 1, negative 1 is negative 2, plus 2 is equal to 0. It works. That means n equal to negative 1 is a solution. But now notice something. Because the degree of our original equation is 3, it means there can be up to 3 different solutions. And to find the other two solutions, we're going to be using special math trick known as synthetic division. I believe you want to see that. Good. In order to use the synthetic division method, I'm going to be writing our equation again. So this will be n cubed minus n squared plus 0n plus 2 equal to 0. Notice that we put 0 for the n term since it wasn't there in the first place. Now our next step will be for us to write each term so we have n cubed, the next term is n squared, the next term is n, then we have the constant term. So I'm going to be writing constant here. Good. Now let's write down the coefficient. The coefficient for n cubed is 1. The coefficient for n squared is negative 1. So I'll write it down. The coefficient for n is 0. And then our constant term is 2. And I'll draw an horizontal line below it then draw a vertical line where I'll be writing down my divisor. And what is our divisor? Our divisor is n equal to negative 1. That is negative 1. That's our divisor. Good. And this is how our arrangement should look like for the synthetic division method. Now, bring down this first number. Bring it down under the line. Then multiply this number we just wrote down by the divisor. That is 1 times negative 1 gives negative 1. And write the result under the next coefficient, negative 1. Then add up. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. We'll repeat the same process. Multiply this number we just wrote down by the divisor. That is negative 2 times negative 1 gives positive 2. Write the result under the next coefficient, which is positive 2, then add. 0 plus 2 is 2. Repeat the process. Multiply this number we just wrote down by the divisor. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Write the result under the next coefficient, and then add. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. And so the numbers at the bottom, which are 1, negative 2, and 2, are the coefficients of the remaining equation. And since we started with n cubed in our original equation, this new one starts with 
n squared. So our new smaller equation that becomes n squared minus 2n plus 2 equal 0. So the full factorization, if we are to put everything together, will be recall that we have n to be equal to negative 1 as one of our solutions. So one of the factors will be n plus 1 times our new smaller equation, which is n squared minus 2n plus 2 equal to 0. We've already got solution for this, so the n equal to negative 1. Now let's find solution to this, which is n squared minus 2n plus 2 equal to 0. We're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. Our a here is 1, our b is negative 2, and our c is 2. And since we're looking for n, our quadratic formula will be n equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now let's substitute here. So we have n to be equal to negative b, so that will be negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is negative 2 squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. And when we simplify further, we have n to be equal to negative times negative is positive, which means this to be positive 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 2 is 8. All over 2 times 1 is 2. And then simplifying, we have n to be equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Let me put this well, all over 2. And when we simplify further, this gives 2 plus or minus. Now, the square root of negative 4 is actually 2i because of this negative. So we have a complex solution to all over 2. And when we separate the fraction, we have n to be equal to 2 divided by 2 plus or minus 2i divided by 2. So this simplifies simply into 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I have 1 here, plus or minus. Now 2 divided by 2 is 1 times i is i. So the values of n, which is the other two solutions, would then be, so this is the second solution, which will be 1 plus i. And then the third solution, or n will be 1 minus i. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Like I always say, until next time, take care.